final community. And all of you that love great music. This is George Allen and LPs and CDs coming at you today with a contest entry. And it's for Arts Channel North Carolina Vinyl Picker. And uh, he's doing a contest. His push for 200 subs. I just checked and he's at 190. Now maybe by time I get this posted he may be a little bit above that. Contest is running I believe almost the whole month of March. So I'm sure he'll be above that because we know how much we like to support each other and I'm sure once the word gets filtered around he'll probably be up to 300. All he wants us to do is to show um, some albums with musical instruments on it. How about that? He said at least five albums and uh, the prize is going to be a box of something. I think records or CDs and maybe a variety of stuff. He might even throw in a few 8-tracks or something. Who knows? But either way, we just like, we do this for the fun of it. Uh, so we're going to do this to help support our, uh, get his subscribers up. He's got a pretty neat channel. He's always out there digging and comes up with some good stuff. So I'm going to start with mine here. First one I'm going to show is the Baja Marimba Band. And that big long thing in front there is a marimba. Yes, sir. Love the marimba. I like uh, vibraphones, marimba, xylophones. I'm a big fan of uh, Bobby Hutchison and Milt Jackson and those guys, Joel Ross, you know. Uh, and the uh, Baja Marimba Band was a kind of a shoot off from uh, Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. And uh, very similar style of music, except for. Uh, Herb Albert's trumpet is the main instrument. It's uh, got a marimba. Very cool. It's on A&M, which was, uh, you know, Herb Albert's uh, uh, label. That's uh, A&M. See, see A&M. This is the back. I think they have, shows a picture, I think, of... Uh, three other uh, albums there and uh, they, I don't think they were ever as big a seller as uh, uh, Tijuana Brass was but uh, I like them I like them and uh, being a percussion guy you know I thought they were pretty cool that's the first one next one I'm going to show is one of my newer acquisitions and I love this this is Rats Alley and uh, this was put out by one of the members of our vinyl community, Michael P. Dawson. And this is a fabulous album. And uh, it's on uh, this, I don't know what color you'd call this. It's probably got some weirdo name. Great, great album. And uh, he's a member of the vinyl community, like I said. And he wrote and performs on all these songs. And I call it a meeting of Frank Zappa, Hot Rats, and King Crimson. Very, very, it's an instrumental album, instrumental album, and it's very good. I encourage you all to check it out. You can listen to it on Spotify, and then you can go to Bandcamp and purchase it. Very good, very good. If you're a King Crimson fan, you'll love it. Next one I'm going to show is uh, Instruments Nashville Super Pickers. And uh, this has got some tremendous people on it. Charlie McCoy, Buddy Harmon, uh, Buddy Emmons, uh, Hargo, Hargo Robbins, uh, 
Johnny Gimbel and Henry Straubach, a lot of famous Nashville guys on it, and uh, it's a great album, great album. If you like uh, country music, these guys are really the super pickers of the guy of the bunch. Oh, here it lists what they each do. I'm sorry. Charlie McCoy, of course, a uh, great harmonica player, vocals. Uh, Johnny Gimbel, uh, fiddle and vocals. Buddy Emmons, steel guitar and vocals. Hargis Robbins, piano. Henry Strickler, just, I'm pronouncing his name badly, vocal, bass and vocals. Buddy Harmon, of course, is a drummer. Uh, Phil Boss, lead guitar. Uh, Russ Hicks, rhythm guitar and steel guitar. What a bunch of uh, great players. That's the back of it there. Nashville Super Pickers. How about a little trumpet playing by the great Roy Aldridge? Yeah, there you got a trumpet. And uh, this is a this is a reissue from old sessions called Little Jazz, and it's on uh, Legacy. Uh, not no fancy colors or anything. This is from the 70s, uh, just on black vinyl. And uh, playing with him on this is um, Dick Hyman on piano and Pierre Michael on bass, and Ed Shaughnessy on drums. How about that? That's a rarity. And uh, so, very interesting album. Roy Aldridge on trumpet. Uh, let's hear it for a piano player. Great Chick Corea. How about that? A wonderful, wonderful album. Uh, now he sings, now he sobs. It's a beautiful album, beautiful. I'm glad I got this chick no longer with us. Another great one that's gone by the way. Boy, they're dropping like flies, I'll tell you. Beautiful album. And I, one more, this is a sixth one, but I had to get a, a drummer in there. Get some drums in there with Art Blakey and uh, Lee Morgan on trumpet, Wayne Shorter on bass, Bobby Timmons on piano, and Jaime Merritt on bass. There you go. How about that? So, that's what I got for Art's contest. Obviously, I will have his link below the video so you can go in and subscribe to his channel. And let's give him a little support there, okay? Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.